at 7. I'm Taiwo Barua. The Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, WAPA, is aiming to assist over 5,000 vulnerable residents across the state. The empowerment is being carried out under the federal government's Nigeria Community Action for Resilience and Economic Stimulus in partnership with the Lagos Cares. TL 1.3 was the theme, Training for Livelihood Support Program. This initiative seeks to provide economic relief to struggling individuals, particularly women and youth, engaged in small businesses across the Federation. Head of Disbursement Link Indicator DL 1.3 at WAPA, Tony Salami, noted that the program was designed to help economically active yet struggling individuals to, by providing them with soft training and financial grants to enhance their business activities. Salami said the program has already reached over 2,500 people during its first two phases. Lagos State Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture has partnered a bank to host the 2024 World Tourism Day celebration themed Tourism and Peace. The annual event, according to the Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Bentinawika, underscores the vital role of tourism in fostering peace, unity and cultural understanding across the globe. The celebration scheduled to be held at Moriokwana Park on September 27 promises an engaging lineup of activities, including panel discussions with industry experts, vendor exhibitions, and a vibrant showcase of traditional music and cultural displays that will highlight the rich heritage of Lagos and Nigerian culture. The Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, has promised that it would judiciously utilize the newly developed regulations portal so as to achieve its purpose. Permanent Secretary of LASHMA, Emanuela Zamba, explained that the portal, which was developed by the Farm Access Foundation, is now domicile with the agency after the handling over, noting that was the handing over, LASHMA, through its regulations department, would be able to successfully operate the portal to suit the operations of the agency. Zamba said the handing over is timely as it has commenced stakeholders' engagement on the implementation of the executive order recently signed by Governor Babajide Sonwulu and documentation of the National Health Insurance Authority and HIA Act. She urged all other donor partners in the state to support the agency and ensure that Lagos State realizes universal health coverage, UHC, in the state. Medical Director and Chief Executive Officer of the General Hospital Shomolu Mustafa Kwadri has urged victims of sexual and gender-based violence to speak out in order to get help from the appropriate quarters rather than die in silence. Kwadri gave this admonition to patients and members of the public when the campaign train of the Social Welfare Department of the hospital embarked on a sensitization campaign to some major streets in Shomolu in a bid to raise awareness against sh sexual and gender-based violence. During the sensitization, the campaign team distributed flyers to residents and passers-by while Karen Mackie traversing Durasimi, Ubuntulu, and Bailey Streets in Shomolu local government. They also campaigned in their local languages to drive home their point, educating the people on the need for victims to tell their stories. And this year's celebration theme is sexual and gender-based violence, not on my watch, not in my Lagos. And that's it on the state news at 7, but just before we go. Maintain adequate distance from vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songulu administration organized a mentorship seminar for over 1,000 youth on the theme, Agripreneur Strategy for Wealth Creation? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at traffic radio 961.ng. 
that ends the news broadcast compiled by Kayadi Mafalashiri. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening. <laughs>